Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. So in today's video, we will be learning about permutation and combination. In this video, we will be learning how to use fundamental principles of counting and solve our problem logically rather than using the complex permutation and combination formulas. Problem statement. A person has to travel from Kota to Delhi via Jaipur. There are two roads from Kota to Jaipur and three roads from Jaipur to Delhi. Find the number of ways in which he can reach Delhi. Let's visualize our problem. We have to travel from Kota to Delhi via Jaipur. If the number of ways from Kota to Jaipur are 2 and the number of ways from Jaipur to Delhi are 3. So if we visualize and see the problem and count the number of ways it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 which can be achieved by multiplying 2 and 3. So let's see the solution. The solution to this problem is 2 into 3 that is 6 ways. Now we could have also done it using the formula that is 2c1 into 3c1 which would have also given us the same result. But for now let's practice fundamental principles of counting. Now let us understand what fundamental principle of counting exactly means. If an event can occur in m different ways, following which another event can occur in n different ways, then the number of ways of simultaneous occurrence of both the events in a definite order is m into n ways. Now this means that if suppose you say you have two events x and y and the number of ways in which x can take place is m and the number of ways in which y can take place is n and suppose the order of occurrence of x and y are fixed then the number of ways in which both x and y can happen together is m into n ways i think i have made my point clear if you have still not convinced just pause the video and read the statement and i hope you will understand that so let's move forward so let's solve the problem based on the principle that we have just learned. The question in hand is, Mr. X has three jeans, five shirts and two shoes. In how many ways can he be dressed up? So I'll wait for two seconds. Meanwhile, if you, you can pause the video and solve it. So the answer is 3 into 5 into 2, which is 30 ways. Let's move forward. The next question is, there are four ways to get from point A to point B. Mr. X has to travel from point B and come back. So in how many ways can you do that? Please pause the video and try to solve this question by yourself. So the solution is, the person has to travel from point A to point B and it has four different ways. Now from point B to point A, it again has four different ways. So the simultaneous occurrence of both the events would be 4 into 4 which is 16 ways. Now let's move ahead for the next question. In this question, in how many ways can he travel from point A to point B and back without using the same road? So the catch in this question is without using the same road. Please pause the video and try to solve this question by yourself. So the solution to the problem is a person has four different ways in which he can travel from point A to point B. Now even if he has used any of the way, one way is been reduced. So from point B to point A, it has only three unique ways. So the solution is 4 into 3 which is 12 ways. I hope you understood the point. The question is, in how many ways he can do it if he came back to point A using only road R1 and R2? Please pause the video. The solution to the problem is, if the number of ways in which he can travel from point A to point B is 4 because there is no constraint in this part, but while coming back he has only 2 roads. So the number of ways he can do is 2. So by just multiplying this, we get our result, which is 4 into 2, 8 ways. The next question is, there are 4 ways from point A to point B and 3 ways from point A to point C. In how many ways a person can travel from point A? Please pause the video and try to solve the question by yourself. Please read the last line carefully 
as it is the main catch in the question. So the solution to the problem is see the person has to leave point A. Either it will go to point B or it will go to point C. At the same time it can't go to point A also and point B also. So in this case of or you always think about addition rather than multiplication. So let's see the solution. The solution is there are four ways in which a person can travel from point A to point B and three ways in which a person can travel from point A to point C. So the number of ways in which a person can leave A is either it can go to B or it can go to C. So you just need to add all the seven. So the solution is seven ways. 4 plus 3 is 7. Key observation is if both the events are linked with and then you have to perform multiplication but if both the events are linked with or then you have to perform addition. So let's just look into this with an example. So let's just take the same example that is if you need to wear a pair of jeans, a pair of shoes and a shirt. So now you have to wear a pair of jeans and you have to wear a pair of shoes and you have to wear a shirt. So all the three events are linked with and and if all the three events need to happen simultaneously then you need to multiply the, uh, the ways in which each event would occur. So the first point is clear. I hope the first point is clear. The second point is in case of or you need to do addition. So let's take an example, a new example. For example, if you need to find the number of ways the digits can be arranged so that the number formed would be divisible by 5. So there are two cases. Either the number that is formed, the last digit should be 0 or the last digit should be 5. So now you can see that either the number's last digit should be 0 or the number of the number's last digit should be 5. So in this case, you find the ways of the last digit being 0 and the number of ways the last digit being 5. And post that you add both the result to get the number of ways the entire number so formed would be divisible by 5. So this is an example of OR. There are a lot more examples of AND and OR. Uh, but I would like to wrap up this video here. If you have any doubts regarding this, please feel free to write in the comment section and I would be replying to all your comments. And I hope you know the drill. If you really like the video, please do like, share and subscribe. And I would be uploading the videos on permutation and con permutations and combinations from very basic to very complex. So please stay tuned for the entire video series and I really hope it would be helpful. Thank you.